Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, we're back up here working at the top of the house today. And one of the things I had done this morning is I had a hole chisel through my wall right there. And that's because in this rooftop CR that we haven't finished yet, there's a drain pipe right here for a sink. And I'm going to put a pipe going straight outside right there. And I've decided after being here and hanging around and all, you kind of learn about your place. That one, a little countertop, move back where you can see. I want a countertop and a wash basin up here, like a kitchen sink. And so if we have a get together or something and we're up here on top, not only they have that CR right there, but if there's things people need to wash up, some cups, dishes, spoons, whatever it is, they can clean it up right there. And over here on the other side, I'm gonna have just a little hand wash basin right here and there's a drain there. And that's just for people just strictly to clean their hands. And we're making a little roof for a tarpaulin. My, I thought we were gonna split those into two. Make two out of each one of those. Yeah, that's what my plan was. So that way we don't have to have so much bamboo. But we can reuse it like this. At least we can reuse it. Just continue. Yeah, it's okay. It's a, it'll still be all right. So we're trying to get it where we can put tarp up here and it not dump water everywhere, hold it. So that's actually looking pretty good. So we got a lot of work to do up here. And uh, I want to not only get some shade, but I want to use it for scaffolding to walk on. I think I'm going to have to send Miller to go get more bamboo. Y'all finished the gate, right? Doing a little work for the subdivision again. There's a drop off right here. I actually drops about six inches down there where they're at. So I'm pouring a little concrete slope right here. And that way we can use both our gates again. But I mean, it's a significant drop off. A very significant drop off. I'll give you something. To... Here's a hand tool and you can you can see it's a pretty good drop you try to run your tires up against that to pull out on a busy road here we just took some scrap steel we had put in there Yeah, I went on, buzzed that hair back off. Whew, it feels so much better. I tell you, for me, I can still grow quite a bit of hair. It's not like I'm bald, bald. I just cannot stand all that hair on my head in this humid, tropical climate. Bless their hearts for the ones that do, because I tell you what, it gets hot and sticky. At least it does for me, man. I feel so much better when I keep my head buzzed down. And uh, it's funny, you know, my my hair is, is not gray. It's still very rich in color on my head. And, and it'll grow in pretty darn good. But, uh, of course, I got a little bit of that, you know, those little runways right here, you know. Runway one and runway two. <laughs> so getting up here high in the air, I have to really still watch out for aircraft trying to land you know and uh but and and i you know i got runway one and i got runway two and then right back here i got a helipad 
<laughs> but everything else is still uh, a lot of uh, force going on right there. Yeah, funny stuff, man. My father, he left this world with a thick, full head of hair, man. And he had a high four line, you know, forehead line, but he had that ever since birth. And, uh, but everything else, man, his hair was still just thick, man. He had thick hair. And then my, my, uh, granddad on my mom's side, same thing, man. He left this world with a thick head of hair. And my late brother, rest his soul, also left this world still with thick blonde hair. Not gray, but blonde, brownish blonde, dirty blonde. And uh, it's it's funny, you know. And with me, I guess I took after my my either my grandpa on my dad's side had that really receded back hairline like that and bald. And then on my mom's side of the family, on her mother's side, the, the Moody's and and all of them, they they had the balding so either i picked it up on, on one of those two sides but i got the unlucky draw on the hair any which way <laughs> yeah sure did well so be it you know we're all born with what we're born with sunday today's friday sunday is melinda's birthday okay and uh, she told me to promise her that I don't have a birthday party for her on Sunday. She said, babe, on my birthday on Sunday, don't have a birthday party for me. I just want you and I and the girls to go to the city. I said, okay, no problem. Because what she don't know, and you won't be able to spoil it because by the time you see this, it's done happen. I have set up a whole birthday party for her surprise for tomorrow, a day early. So uh, I've got catering coming in and uh, a lot of her friends and our mutual friends and all are all coming and family's coming and uh, she don't even know it. And thank goodness nobody has sold me out yet. Thank you for the respect all of you doing that. but. We'll see which one. We'll see which one. You know, it's going to be like the 12 disciples. We're going to see which one. <laughs> Ninja Van just showed up. We ordered a multi-capsule coffee maker, this high brew right here off of Lazada. I'm so confused, though, because I ordered two things on there, and I went to checkout. I paid with my credit card, and that way I earned the points and everything with the card and not having to go exchange you know, money from the U.S. and all that. And so uh, they were telling me, prepare for my COD. And I'm like, what? Why would I need to prepare for my COD? And uh, went in and looked, and they never charged my card. And they did. They shipped it as a COD. Um, good thing I had some cash here handy. But... We'll open this up later and check it out. Boy, it's a heavy little box, though. This machine, they got a version 1 and version 2. This is the new version, from what I understand. It's got a little bit more uh, pump pressure and all in it, if I understand it right. And a little different design, a little bit more rounded. But um, everybody that bought these really put a lot of good reviews back out there on it. So we'll see. And the company was really responsive to them also thanking them for those reviews so let's see let's see what it turns out to be what would that be right that this is from germany is this what it's showing there on the box huh well we will see we'll check this out here we're both still trying to get over the crud is it your gift <laughs> yeah there you go right there happy advanced birthday <laughs> uh, wow. happy advanced birthday actually it kind of is because melinda has been asking and asking that we buy this and i've been putting it off hadn't i yeah. 
And she really finally forced me. She's so forcing. Right here's the handles. Here, I'll hold it down, you pull. So we'll check out this little machine. I've seen that there's numerous sellers of this on um, Lazada, but the company themselves, I noticed, are selling direct on there as well. And uh, if I was to buy, I think I would find one of the links and read the comments that you'll see that the seller, the manufacturer themselves, directly selling and uh, buy from them. Um, a lot of a lot of good information's been out there on it. I've been watching it for maybe three or four months now before I would purchase mm -hmm. it, and I've really been just following all the sellers and the reviews. And the manufacturer actually commented quite a few times and thanking people for the reviews and stuff, and that they strive to continue to improve and make a, a nicer machine. So let's just see. And this is supposed to be a new, uh, a newer version when there's two different models of the way they're shaped, and it says yeah. 19 bar right here. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the 19 bar is the newer one. See H2A. I like this one because there's a lot of. Uh, choices, you know, like everything. That bar stands for the pressure in there on the pump where it pushes it through your grounds, whether it be a K-cup or pot or whatever it is. <coughs> yeah, it's a multi-machine. Thank you, Corey. They sent, a, they sent a card, no money in it, no gift card. Yeah, no, no, it's not <laughs> no money in it. Money, you know. <laughs> oh, you would have put that in your pocket fast, huh? I think this one is the scoop. Hmm. That's funny where they put that little base on it. Maybe there's some place on the machine that that sits. It's got a little base like on the measuring scoop right there. Let me make her some space here to put this. Let me help you again. That over to the side. It's a smaller machine than our first picture, so that's the back in the water tank. The, but the front you... butt, but I did read that a lot of people loved it because it didn't take up a lot of counter yes, space. I like one, yeah. yeah. All I can tell you is in the U.S., those what are they called the uh, brand Krug or whatever Krug. Um, and we've had numerous back-to-back -back go out on us and hard to get anything done on the warranty, you know. Um, turns out if you buy one of those from Walmart, Walmart, Walmart special contracts those, and they're built at a lower quality, mm -hmm. and Krug themselves will not warrant it, and we would go to Walmart, and they didn't even have a replacement, and they would want us to do an exchange only. Um, a little bit of a mess, you know, everything's kind of going downhill these days, but uh, we'll see. Now, Mel, I don't know. We probably need to read the instructions. But apparently, this tray must replace this tray inside the machine. We need to do a little reading, yes. not breaking. Yes. And uh, so it does have a little small water reservoir. Not real big. Not real big at all. Like I said, like a hotel style. You yeah, know, like a yeah. For two person. Yeah. So probably nice to keep you a pitcher of filtered water like right next to your machine that you can pour in there as you need. Everything you need to remove it and then... So it's got adapters for... So you want to have like a little drawer nearby or something that you can keep all your... Wow, there's many of them. Take plastic off that one too. So what it is, it's got a different holder mechanism for each type of brewing that you're doing here. So let's do a little exploring here and see what it says that each one of these trays, plus the one that, did you take one out already? No, because it's supposed to be. It feels like there's one in it already. All right. Yeah, so be the mm -hmm. one that's in it. So let's see what each one of those says that they're for. So I just slid the one out of the front of the machine here, and it's actually the one that you put the grounds in. You can see it perforated right there. I tell you what, everything feels to be really good. 
Um, see what size of cup need to be put in there. There is a lot of moving parts, you know, when you got all this. The nice thing is, if one of these broke, uh, okay. you still got other options. Okay. But huh, let's let's put this back in there, and then you see how the cup fits. Now put a cup under. Yeah, this size so, is okay. Yeah, but not bigger than that is uh, cannot. Be but these tall big. ones won't, huh? Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not without forcing. Yeah, so, so this one. Huh? So let's see the difference in the height. So it. All right, so now I'm going to go back again to reading what each one of these is for. So as it shows right here, we've got adapter for Nespresso, adapter for Dulce Gusto, adapter for ground coffee, or ESC Pod. Put these over here where you can see them well. Here's one of them. It opens up. You can see inside. You close the lid. It's got the little needle that punches it right there. Uh, seems pretty nice. Same thing for this one for a different. Uh, let's see here. It swings up, and apparently there's a different style pod that this closes down on, right in there. And then uh, this one right here. Uh, is a bigger pod. It's got the needle that punches right there on the bottom. And then it said it's got the one right here in the front that uh, we flip it open and you can tell that it's more just for grounds right there. And you could probably lay one of those little pads I bet in there too. Those little round flat little disc I bet would work in there as well. So it's been a little over a week now using this coffee maker, uh, using it every single day. I really like it. It's a pretty cool machine. Mm. Very good. The uh, It definitely brings more flavor out in the coffee than just that little Kenya coffee press, that French press that I use. So um, I like that, and yeah, it's definitely a better brew taste. I, I like it. Well, hope that maybe you might be interested in buying one of those machines or something. Give it a try. You are limited on cup sizes you can use, so that is maybe one downfall if you got those tall thermos cups or any type of co coffee cup that's very tall it will not fit in the machine if they're very big around they will not fit in the machine that's um, one thing maybe I like to see them improve is the capacity of the size cups it can hold other than that um, seems to be a pretty nice little machine we'll continue to use it and see if um, we find any problems with it or not and we'll follow up and let you know everybody Thanks for watching this and hopefully maybe some of you that's coming from the West or my Filipino viewers now, if y'all want um, a little coffee brew machine like that, single cup at a time, might be a good choice for you. They didn't provide this to me. I'm not sponsored for this or nothing. This is just a machine that we bought ourselves. We bought it through Lazada. Uh, get on there and look it up. The High Brew 2.